The time is now 7 a.m. I got up just a little bit early because I'm so excited about the Flower and Garden Festival today to see it all. Let's do it together. There are more people up and around than I would expect for seven in the morning at Disney, but I guess I'm not the only one who knows that the early bird gets the magic. There's something special about getting up early at Disney. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy, but something special about early morning, it's nice and quiet at your resort. I just love it. I'm back at Epcot for day number two. It is, it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to share it all with you. Let's do it. Every time, I don't know what's this view right here. Just it's this one. It's this view that gets me every time. I love it. Another shout out to Disney security. They do a good job. Everyone has to go through the metal detector now, so we all feel great and safe. Welcome back to Epcot, bright and early. Look at the Flower and Garden Festival. There's just about no one here in line with me. Park set to open at 9 a.m. It is 7.45 now, so you can see there's relatively low crowds here. Thank you. It's 8.22 a.m. They let us in early to Epcot. This, this happens sometimes, not all the time. See, there's another rope barrier right there under Spaceship Earth. I like being able to wait inside. There's something special about that. Taking off the rope now, so there's nothing blocking me from Epcot. Right. Ooh, there you go. Entertainment headed our way. If you haven't been for Rope Drop before, it is a lot of fun, let me tell you. Now first up, voted on by you with Create the Adventure with Michael is Soren. first thing in the morning. Let's do it. Look at the line, it actually goes up and around. You can see it goes on the stairs over there. It goes up and over and all the way around. That's a lot of people. Hello and welcome to Soren. My name is Michael and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. Let's get on board. The new version, I'm, I'm falling more and more in love with the new version. I gotta be honest with you, it's really, it's so good. So well done, great job Disney. Thanks for voting on Create the Adventure with Michael and picking what I'm going to have for breakfast. Today you voted on cinnamon French toast bread pudding from the seasons here in the land. Let's give it a try. Very good, wow. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. That's definitely how I like it. Great, great pick. Thanks for helping me create the magic. And now I'm headed off to Test Track to see how long that single rider line is. It's definitely more crowded here than I expected. I really did not expect as many crowds. Absolutely love that topiary. Wow. Love that purple dragon. 45 minutes for standby, single rider, five minutes. Sometimes there are a lot of benefits to going to Disney alone. Single rider line at Test Track, one of the greatest ones. One of the disadvantages of being a single rider on Test Track is you don't really get to customize your car as much. You just have to pick kind of a standard car, but for a shorter wait, I think it's worth it. the original, but I do love the new one. Okay, I've ridden Test Track and I loved it, and now it's time to explore the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Love it. I, I really think this is my favorite festival of all of them. I think this is my favorite one. Look at this. You got over here the Dynaco car. Same idea. Road to the Florida 500. Prickly pear cactus. I tell you all about it. It's so cool. Wow. Just wow. This area by the water, where the monorail goes over it on both sides, truly the best part of the whole thing, in my opinion. <laughs> Just, wow. It, it, it's like nothing else. It's like nothing else. I absolutely love this Fantasia one. Really intricate details, truly beautiful. Butterflies on the go. It's a monarch butterfly. Look at that doggy behind me. Look at this thing, it's $29. Both pass holder pins, I bought the tumbler glass, I bought the special pass holder t-shirt, I bought two limited release pins. There is so much. Look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the topiaries this year, but I really do miss TikTok in the United Kingdom, miss them a lot. Take a look at this topiary here, Beauty and the Beast, the classic. I'm here at Via Napoli for lunch, thanks to your great suggestions and votes in Create the Adventure with Michael. Today I'm getting the prosciutto pizza, also a vote that you chose. Salty and I like the white pizza flavor. Great suggestion. Now I just had a fantastic meal at Via Napoli, okay? But while I was there, I got an email from my friend Amy. She sent me, believe it or not, an electronic Disney gift card for $75. Amazingly generous Amy and all of my amazingly generous friends. I've told you before, I, you know, it's, it's, the generosity is so touching. The generosity to me is so touching. 
It's so telling of your feelings. I actually, I actually let out a little tear. And as you know, as a male, sometimes that's you know, you know whatever. Someone came over and they said, "Are you okay?" I said, "Yes, I am perfectly fine." That is how much it means to me to to get things like that from friends to say, "Michael, this is in thanks for all the magic that you share, all the happiness that you bring to others." To me, that that is that is unbelievable, magical. I am so thankful. I'll keep sharing the magic because I, I love being able to bring it to you. You mean so much to me. You're an equal part of this adventure. You really, really are. So let's get back to it. Look at this view from Italy. Look at this. This photo with the seven dwarves, what a fantastic photo opportunity. There's a photo photographer here and he's, you've got the little pics there. So you can mine for gems in the picture. How fantastic is that? Back to Germany and of course the caramel Kuchen, which I absolutely love. I could just stand here and get the smell. Just the smell of the caramel Kuchen gets me every time. Look at Timon and Pumbaa here. Fantastic. Back in China. That might be the cutest topiary ever. Look at that little guy. Look at that super cute panda. Now, um, most of the topiaries I like quite a bit. Um, I understand what it is. It's the troll from Norway, but still a little creepy. Now, the pass holder items that are available here at Interventions are the same ones that are available throughout the park. So you don't have to make a special trip. You can find exactly what you're looking for throughout Epcot. I just got the limited release set of four Flower and Garden Festival pins thanks to Amy's unbelievable, amazing generosity. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Absolutely love meeting the characters at the character spot. Now I'm gonna grab some soda at Club Cool. Maybe I'll try some Beverly for you because you've asked so nicely so many times. For you. It's actually not that, oh my gosh. The entire gift shop of Mitsukoshi in Japan has been completely redone and reorganized just a little bit while repairs are being done. I think the consensus this year is that these eggs, I think, are the hardest to find yet. Crowded day like this in Epcot, it's perfect for a resort hopping day to Yacht Club, Beach Club, and maybe even Boardwalk. I am back at the boardwalk. Look at this place. It's so peaceful and tranquil here. So even though it's a little bit crowded in Epcot, and it is a little bit crowded in Epcot, it's peaceful, quiet. I love it here. Love this globe. I'm back at Hollywood Studios. So glad to be here. You're looking fantastic. Just met Mickey Minnie at Red Carpet Dreams. Always great seeing them. They have great outfits on in there. Love those Star Wars fireworks. They were better than ever. I really, really enjoy the story behind it. I'm gonna try and rush off to see Illuminations again. Try. I have 35 minutes to get there. I'm breaking records here. Wouldn't it be more convenient to have a gondola to ride? I think I made this bus. If I did, I could probably catch Illuminations. If I didn't make this bus, I probably can't catch it. We'll find out. Say hi. Hey. I, I have 19 minutes. If I can get to Illuminations in 19 minutes from the parking, from the second parking lot, I'm going to be setting a record, I guarantee you. It is now 8.45 p.m. There's 15 minutes before <laughs> Illumination. Clearly not many people come into Epcot with 13 minutes left of opening. Thank you! I'm at Fountain of Nations with 10 minutes to go. I can't believe I made it. I didn't remember that I had fast passes and I managed to get in. I am so glad, so, so incredibly glad I stayed for Illuminations. I was I was having doubts for a second if I should stay, but I can't begin to tell you how glad I am I did. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Powerful. Powerful. Difficult to leave Epcot tonight. I can't believe the day's over. It flew by for me. Good night, Epcot. I love the Flower and Garden Festival. I actually hope to come back again during my trip. That's how much I loved it. You know you've walked a lot of miles at Disney when it's hard to lift your feet off the ground. That means you had a good day. Another spectacular day. We had Flower Garden Festival, Illuminations, and the Star Wars fireworks. Couldn't ask for any more. It was spectacular. Time to go to sleep, and then we'll do it all again tomorrow. Till then.